Good evening class. Today we will be discussing partial fraction decomposition. Please like, comment, subscribe, and donate on the Cash App to support the channel. My Cash App is with the dollar sign up front, MLBFAM. Here we see a function of 7x minus 23 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 10. First, we want to factor the denominator, and that is x squared minus 7x plus 10. So we want to multiply the first and third terms and to factor by grouping. So x squared times 10 is 10x squared. And we need something that multiplies to equal 10 and add, adds to equal negative 7. So negative 5, so negative 5 times negative 2 is equal to 10, and then negative 5 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 7. So we found it. So 10x squared will be replaced with negative 5x and negative 2x. So negative 5x times negative 2x is equivalent to 10x squared. So we want to bring down our first and third terms. So x squared minus 5x minus 2x plus 10. We have to split this in half with a divider line. On the left hand side of the divider line, x squared and minus 5x, they both have an x in common. And on the right hand side of the divider line, negative 2x and, and positive 10 have a negative 2 in common. So we're going to pull an f, so we're going to pull an x, sorry, out of the left hand side. So it's going to be x times x minus 5. So we pulled an x out there. Then on the right hand side, we will pull out a negative 2. And then we're left with x. And then 10 divided by negative 2 is minus 5. Now, you see x minus 5 appears on both sides of the divider line, and that is known as our greatest common factor, or GCF. So we want to put our GCF first, so it's going to be x minus 5 times x minus 2. And we want to replace the denominator with our factors that we found that is equivalent to x squared minus 7x plus 10. And so x minus 5 times x minus 2 is equivalent to x squared minus 7x plus 10. So 7x minus 23 divided by x minus 5 times x minus 2. Okay, so let's let that marinate there for a little bit. So, 7x minus 23 divided by x minus 5 times x minus 2. So now we want to compute 
the partial fraction decomposition. So we want to set the numerator of 7x minus 23 equal to a times x minus 5 representing the first denominator plus b times x minus 2 representing the second denominator. And then we must find the restrictions that make 0 in the denominator. So x minus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Add 5 to both sides here. So x equals 5 would be our first restriction plus 2 to both sides and x equals 2 will be our second restriction. But we want to find an equivalent statement to find out the correct partial fraction decomposition to equal the beginning statement of 7x minus 23 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 10. See there's the original statement there. So the partial fraction decomposition must equal the original statement. So now we will plug in 5 first into the equation. So 7 times 5 minus 23 is equal to a times 5 minus 5 plus b times 5 minus 2. So 7 times 5 is 35 minus 23 is equal to a times 5 minus 5 and 5 minus 5 is 0 plus b times 5 minus 2 which is 3 so 35 minus 3 is 12, equal to a times 0, we could say 0 times a, plus 3b. 0 times a is 0, so 12 is equal to 0, plus 3b. We subtract 0 to both sides, so 12 is equal to 3b. Is this is going to cancel out here. So divide both sides by 3 and b is equal to 4. So now we need to find out what a is equal to. So we will go to the next page. Well, actually, we could fit it right about here. So we're going to plug in 2 now into the equation. So 7 times 2 minus 23 is equal to a times 2 minus 5 plus b times 2 minus 2. So that's going to equal 14 minus 23 is equal to a times 2 minus 5 times, sorry, plus b times 2 minus 2. Okay? So let's set that marinate there. Perfect. So 14 minus 23 is negative 9 equals to a times 2 minus 5. So that'll translate to negative 3a because 2 minus 5 is negative 3 multiplied by a is negative 3a plus b times 2 minus 2. So plus b times 2 minus 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0, so b times 0. 
So it's going to be negative 9 is equal to negative 3a plus 0b. And negative 9 is equal to negative 3a plus 0. Because 0 times b is 0. So minus 0 to both sides. And that'll cancel out right there. So negative 3a is equal to negative 9. And then divide both sides by negative 3. And as we see there, so a is going to equal 3. So a is going to equal 3. So our partial fraction decomposition is equivalent as follows. And you want it in the form of a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 5. So we know a is equal to 3, so it's going to be 3 divided by x minus 2 plus b, in which we found is 4, plus 4 divided by x minus 5. And so that is our solution to the partial fraction decomposition, which is equivalent to the statement of 3 divided by x minus 2 plus 4 divided by x minus 5. Let's let that marinate for a little bit. If you need math help text Five five nine seven four four three one six nine for services. Please donate. on the Cash App to support this channel with the dollar sign up front M L B F A N Please donate on the Cash App the dollar sign up front, and they'll be fan. Please text 559-744-3169 for services. I tutor for multiple levels in mathematics. Thank you so much. Let's learn math together.